hey <laughs> how's it going thanks for tuning in today i'm gonna show you how i achieved these nails I love them. I think they're super cute. This is my first time ever doing a funky design on my nails or not ever, but this is my first time in like 10 years doing like a funky design on my nails. Yeah, I've never tried to do tortoise shell nails before, but I do think that they turned out pretty great. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Let me know if you disagree, but I really like the way that they turned out. I've been super into fake nails recently. It's so crazy. I never thought I'd really be into it. However, they're pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. I've kind of perfected them so that they last for a while. I love the shape, how easy they are to shape. The length is perfect for me. I wouldn't really go longer than this, mostly because I do have to type all day long and it would just be kind of a hindrance to have to do that with super long nails. But beside the point, today I'm gonna show you how I achieve these nails. I have pretty much perfected the fake nail application. I'm not even gonna lie. I posted a video on this recently and I liked it. It was fun to film. It was part of this like glow up with me video. So I really wanna show you guys kind of my updated routine and what that looks like. It is kind of a process. It does take time. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that applying fake nails and painting them and shaping them and all that is gonna take like 30 minutes. That's not true. It does take a little bit of time in total. I think this took me like an hour and a half to do. An hour and a half because I had to do so many layers of paint. They do typically take about 45 minutes to an hour if you're doing it correctly. If you're really prepping and taking the time. If you don't take the time to prep your nails and you don't take the time to make sure that they are done properly your nails are going to start popping off in a few days and then you're gonna have to start regluing them all the time and that is such a hassle trust me i know from personal experience i've had to glue on my nails or re-glue on my nails so many times before now that i've perfected this i no longer have to do that they don't pop off anymore and they stay on for more than two weeks my last nails they stayed on for two weeks they didn't pop off they didn't even feel like they were coming off and i took them off because they had grown out a little too far and i didn't like the way they looked anymore so they could have probably lasted longer i think that they would have even lasted another week they were super deeper glued on there i just used these kiss nails i showed them in a previous video these are the square ones i've also used the long ones these guys that are super duper long there's really no difference as far as like quality and as far as like how long they last the difference is just like cutting and shaping the nail obviously i have to cut these and i have to shape these and it takes a little bit longer to do whereas these are already in a square shape and i just have to file them down a little bit i don't even have to cut these at all so i'm also using the Cirque colors tortoise shell nail polish kit it comes with these three colors i also used this sally hansen top coat that i just can't seem to find right now for some reason you'll see it later on in the video i used it in my last video it's just like a basic cheap top coat that i got from like cbs Alrighty, i'm so excited to show you guys how i did this i can't wait for you guys to see if you're new here don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this if you're not new here welcome back so happy to see you here don't forget to hit the little bell button for notifications when i post new videos all right let's get into the video for starters, to prep my nails, I will take some nail polish remover or acetone and run it over my nails just to strip my nails of any oils or any lotions. This will ensure that the nails are gonna stick for longer. Next, I'm pushing my cuticles back. I'm really not good at cutting my own cuticles, so I just push them back. I have this cuticle pusher. You can use an orange stick as well. Now that I have all my nails picked out and laid out, I'm gonna take this buffing tool and buff down my nails. This is just another measure I'm taking to make sure that the nails stick. I'm taking the glue, putting it on my natural nail as well as the fake nail, so two layers of glue, and then pressing it onto my nail. Sometimes I feel it's necessary to kind of file the base of the nail down where it will sit next to my cuticle because the base of the nails are often a little too square for my natural nail, so I just wanna make sure that it blends in with my natural nail or fits into my cuticle nicely. When applying the nails, I slightly slide them down toward the cuticle and then press down to make sure that the fake nails blend seamlessly with my natural nails. I basically just repeat the same thing on the other side. Glue on my natural nail, glue on my fake nail, slide it down, press and hold for about five seconds.
Now that the nails are applied, it's time to file my nails. I use this double-sided file, one side is grittier than the other, and I use the grittier side to file down the nails for the most part. Using the grittier side is just much faster in my opinion. I like to shape my nails into kind of a ballerina shape. It's like a coffin, but slightly more rounded. Because my natural nails are a little wide and my fingers are not very long, by creating the shape, I feel it makes my fingers look a little bit longer. Next, I'm taking the buffing tool and just buffing away any excess nail residue. And this is the difference between the nails being filed down and shaped and not. It's very subtle, it's very slight, but I think it makes a huge difference. Now I'm gonna be taking the rust color and dotting this around my nails. The cool part about this nail look is that you can make it messy. It's not gonna be perfect, so you can just go around and dot it where you feel it's necessary. I tried to vary between three and four dots on each nail just to give it some depth. And I'm repeating the same steps on the other side. So I'm just dipping my nail polish and just dotting it messily around my nail. There's really no specific pattern that I'm going for. So if you feel like you wanna pull up a reference photo, now would be the time. So this is what that first layer looks like. Next, I'm gonna take this sheer amber color in the color Camel, and I'm just gonna run that over the entire nail. So I'm gonna paint this as I normally would paint my nail, and this is just going to create a second layer. Because this is such a sheer color, I tried my hardest to make this layer as thick as possible so that the yellow or the amber color would really pop through. Next, I'm going in with that red rust color again, and I'm just deepening that color by layering over the original color. Once I'm done with that, I'm taking this walnut brown color, and I'm just layering that over the red color to deepen the look even further. Retrospectively, this is where I should have stopped. I think that the way that this looks is really cool and I didn't really need to add much more. But I then went ahead and added a second layer of that brown. Lastly, I'm taking that amber color again and running it over the nail one more time in a thick coat just to make sure that we can tie all the colors together and that the amber color really peeks through any spots that don't have that red or brown color. Last but certainly not least, I'm applying a top coat to make sure that the nail polish doesn't chip and also add a really nice shine to the final look. And there you go, these are the results. Thank you guys so much for watching. That wraps up this video. I hope you really liked it. I hope you liked the results. If I could change anything, I would do one less layer. I do think that they turned out a little dark. I wish that they had turned out a little bit lighter and a little bit more sheer, but all in all, I think that they turned out pretty great. I'm super excited. I love the shape of them. I love the length. I'm a fan. Let me know what you guys think. Would you guys try this out? Would you guys try out this design? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here, don't forget to hit the little bell button for notifications when I post new videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.